welcome back guys so this is uh, question number seven of our book and today we are going to encounter some more binary numbers which are basically the fractional binary numbers okay so you may see that here all the binary numbers also consist of this dot which is in this case is called the binary point okay So you, you may have seen different dots or the decimal points in the decimal number system like 25.78 or 6.23 or so on. So this point here is basically or this full stop is the decimal point here in the decimal number system but here as we are in the binary number system so this is the binary point okay so uh, today we are going to see that how to convert these type of numbers into this decimal number so uh, let us get started so let me first remove it and let me first start my number which is double one double zero double one dot one one okay so now how to solve it so here we have this binary point okay so let me write it here so it will be here this will be here so after it let me write all the numbers as i used to do with the conventional numbers okay so this is one after it and this is one here as well similarly here this one this one okay then double zero double zero and then one one so these are basically the numbers which are uh, in my question here and that is basically the binary number so now again writing two with each of one here so multiplying two with it two with it okay two with it as well two two and two okay similarly with them as well okay let me first write the exponents with all these two bases so uh, at the left side of my binary point i have all the numbers so let me write the exponents which are starting from zero one two three four and five okay so these are all the exponents and we have to add them then okay so i have added them so after calculating it i will get the whole number out of uh, this binary combination so what to do with this number okay so what as we can see that here we have a zero so let me draw a picture like this one here so this is the midpoint which is zero so here in this line i have one two three up to any positive number but here at the right side i will have minus one minus two minus three and so on okay so keeping in mind the same thing or the same uh, line here let me use the same concept here and here i will start writing the exponents of the base from minus one and then to minus two and then i have to add them together unless and until i will get back to the end of my numbers here okay so in this way i will get this combination okay so let me simplify them so simplifying them this will be 1 into 2 raised power 0 is 1 okay similarly 2 multiplied by 1 okay 0 multiplied by 4 okay this is 8 and 8 multiplied by 0 similarly this is 16 16 multiplied by 1 and this is 32 multiplied by one okay uh, what to do with it this is now my binary point and here 2 raised power minus 1 is 1 into 1 over 2 okay similarly this is 1 multiplied by 1 over 2 raised power 2 which is 4 okay uh, now let me simplify it some more here so it will be what this will be 1 
plus 2 ok these two will cancel out because anything multiplied by 0 will be 0 so 0 0 here so 0 plus 0 ok similarly 16 and 32 here ok uh, what about these so 1 by 2 is 0 0.5 so 1 multiplied by 0 0.5 is 0 0.5 ok so uh, and similarly 1 by 4 is 0 0.25 so adding it with 1 multiplied by 0 0.25 is this one so this will be like this one now adding adding them together this binary point will be here so 0.5 plus 0.25 is how much is this this is uh, 0.75 okay and uh, what to do this is the decimal point and adding them here okay what it will happen uh, so 16 plus 32 is 48 48 plus 2 is 50 and this is 51 so ultimately i will get adding this with this one so i will get 51 point 75 okay so that is the decimal number and that is the answer of my part a of this question so it is about the conversion of the fractional binary numbers to the fractional decimal numbers okay so here we have a point which is called the decimal point but the same point here we had in our binary numbers and that was basically the binary point okay uh, so that's it for part a similarly in order to start the part b here let me uh, write this uh, 101010.01 one one okay so part b here 101010.01 okay or point 01 and that is yes the same one here and that is the binary number here so now using the same concept here as we have applied in our previous question so what to do so using 1 0 1 0 1 0 and then this binary point and then 0 and 1 okay after what we have to do we have to write or multiply 2 with every bit here okay so bit is basically the binary digit and as this is a binary number so each and every digit here is basically the bit here so that is basically the binary digit okay uh, similarly 2 with it and with it as well okay did i multiply it here yes this one so now what we have to do after we have to write the exponents so here this is first so 0 1 2 3 4 5 and here it will be minus 1 minus 2 okay adding them together the same procedure which we have previously followed okay now simplifying it let me simplify it so this is 0 point and that a would be what this is 0 multiplied by anything would be 0 and similarly what it would be so 1 multiplied by 2 is power minus 2 is 1 by 4 okay uh, similarly it would be 0 plus 1 multiplied by 2 is 2 okay so 0 again 2 raised power 3 is 8 multiplied by 1 is 8 2 raised to the power 4 is 16 multiplied by 0 is 0 okay 2 raised to the power 5 is 32 32 multiplied by 1 is 32 so this would be 32 plus 8 is 40 and 2 is 42 so it would be 42 okay 42 point 1 point 1 by 4 is 0 point uh, 25 so it will be here 25 okay so now this is my decimal number 
okay uh, so here we can very easily see that by using or by deploying all the previously established steps we have converted our number into the binary number which we can see here okay uh, other questions are similar as that of this one so i suggest you guys to use uh, other parts of this question for your own practice but let me give you a hint here because here we have this question in which all the terms here are zero except our this one and this one here while all the bits at the right side of my binary point are one so what is this so this is basically 2 raised power 0 and this is 1 2 3 4 5 6 this is 2 raised power 6 okay so only 1 into 2 raised power 6 plus 1 into 2 raised power 0 these are the only numbers which will be here because all the other numbers will be multiplied by with 0 and will be nullified okay similarly here it would be 1 would be 1 by 2 plus 1 by 4 plus 1 by 8 okay so now uh, let me simplify them so 2 raised power uh, 6 is basically 64 64 multiplied by 1 is 64 plus this one is 2 raised power 0 is 1 so this is 1 okay uh, similarly 1 by 2 plus 1 by 4 plus 1 by 8 so 1 by 2 is how much that is 0 0.5 plus 0 0.25 and this is 0 0.125 okay uh, so uh, adding them together i will get 0 0.5 plus 0 0.25 is 0 0.75 okay and that would be 0 0.125 with 0 0.75 will be uh, how much this would be 0 0.875 okay so now adding this 65 because 64 plus 1 is 65 so here uh, from this question i will get what i will get here 65.875 okay so that would be the decimal number of it out of this binary number and that is one of the easiest possible way in which i have told you how to calculate the decimal number from a given binary numbers okay from the same method you can use the other parts of this question for your own practice i am not going to solve them in this video but in other videos i will definitely give them a try so with this exercise problem i am leaving you with all the other parts of this question which are d e f g h so i hope you will practice all of those things and if you encounter any difficulty in these questions so let me know in the comment section and uh, i will see you with some more question in our upcoming video thank you so much and I'll see you soon